Well, hey guys, it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. Hope everything is going awesome for you on this Sunday evening. Uh, I've done a lot of stamping this weekend. I was on Facebook Live on Saturday and Friday night, so I've been doing a lot of stamping. So I decided to hop on YouTube Live today. I'm using our current stamp of approval collection. This is called Celebrate Friends. And in case you're not familiar with it, I wanted to do a quick run through. Um, we have the I Eat Cake stamp set. These are brand new products exclusive to this collection. Um, this box of goodies is $97. Uh, the retail value of the individual products would be about $120. And you get a downloadable project guide for free. So all of the creative team, they go crazy making awesome cards with this. Hey, Sharon, <laughs> this is punctuated party. And then they all submit their favorite project made with the collection. They write up the instructions and we compile all of those into a beautiful project guide download so that you guys can get home, sit down and start stamping right away with your collection and not end up with a pile of scraps, right? How many times does that happen to you? <laughs> so the punctuated party stamp set, we have three uh, word dies. These are hand lettered by Shauna Klingerman. We have Celebrate, Sweet, Hooray. Today I'm going to use Hooray. Karen, I hope I inspire you. Um, I'm using some super fun colors today. Um, honestly, I have not dived in enough to this scattered circle stencil. Note to self, get busy with this one. <laughs> Thank you guys for giving me thumbs up. I appreciate it. Uh, hey Jennifer, I'm going to use the Woohoo. Hey Debbie, I love the I Eat Cake too. It makes such cute cards. Uh, this is a Woohoo stamp set. It has really great sentiments that go along with our word dies and they also have all these little fun party bits so you can make celebration cards graduation cards that's coming up birthday cards all kinds of fun cards a friend of mine vicky she came over last night and she made a pennant out of the hat so creative and then for the first time ever you can choose part of your collection so we have the coffee we have the perfect blend in the morning joe border dye so this is what would come in your coffee celebrate friends with coffee if you chose celebrate friends with tea you would get the cup of tea stamp set did i say perfect blend for this <laughs> and the uh, bordering sweet dye <clears throat> now if you um wanted both you could get both and that box is 127. now in today's card i'm going to use Woohoo! I'm going to use Perfect Blend, and I'm actually actually going to use the Bordering Sweet. If you guys uh, follow me on Instagram, I think probably on Facebook too, I shared this, but Jenny, one of our uh, creative team members, made this amazing card with some border, some of our border dies, and that's where the inspiration for today's card came from. Okay, so if you tag them with Stamp of Approval um, or Celebrate Friends, we'll be able to find them. All right, so these are the ones I was stamping today. I cut Hooray right out of the center, and then I saved the little bits here. I did this layer on dimensional adhesive, and then I just uh, carefully laid those pieces in there so it says Hooray. Hey, Tiffany. I did direct to paper here so that I got an Aquatini coordinating cardstock. Love this card. It's so fun. Uh, this one, woo. Woohoo for you. <laughs> this is white embossed on black. And then I did same as this, except instead of Aquatini here, I did Be Mine. And then the little flowers, instead of Be Mine, I did them in Aquatini. And then of course I did a little tiny dot in there with Tiara. And I did them really tight. So the background is a lot um, tighter. <laughs> the pattern is, is tighter. Any better way to say that? <laughs> and then here is the bordering sweet border die. I just had a little teeny piece peeking out there with the twine wrapped around. And then when I did this, when I cut it down to fit on my card front, I had this piece left over, so I decided to make a card. And of course, this die cut went straight over here. I did put it on the card first and felt like it kind of got lost a little bit. It didn't stand out enough because of the white. It was too much white. And so I did a black hooray right behind it. Thank you, Sharon. I can't wait till you get your stamp of approval. You're always so patient with it going all the way to Canada. I can't wait to see what you make. All right, so, oh, and I forgot to show you, we do have add-on dies, so if you like cookie cutter dies to cut out the images in your stamps, um, we have the I Eat Cake, we have the um, Cup of Tea, the Perfect Blend, and also the Woohoo. All right, so, like I said, we're using these. I have started my project a little bit already without you because this is live and I can't edit out some of the parts. So, mm, let's see. 
One of my pieces of paper is missing. Okay, so I wanna make some border pieces. So I'm gonna take my Lime Ricky ink pad. If you're new to our, our ink pads, they're made of foam. Foam transfers ink to a stamp beautifully so that when you have a beautifully inked stamp, you get a beautiful inked image, no splotchiness. You see how solid and perfect that is? And so then when you wanna do coordinating cardstock, matching cardstock, you just take your ink pad, very gently rub it across the cardstock, and you're gonna have matching cardstock. Now, if you do that um, a lot, or you do a lot of solid stamping or a lot of watercoloring, you're gonna want to have the ink refills on hand. And then the way to ink refill, you just gently squeeze and gently run your ink, uh, ink refill back and forth across that pad. And then I usually kind of just rub it, try to just distribute that ink. And then if I'm using a big um, solid stamp, I make sure I pat it all the way across because there may be, you know, when you ink like this, you may have spots that don't ink, get inked quite as much until the ink pad, you let it sit for a while and that ink will distribute. So that's that on re-inking. Okay, so now I'm gonna wanna take my border die and I'm gonna run it through the big shot. So dun dun dun, pretend I'm running it through the big shot and ba dun dun, magic TV, here it is. <laughs> so I did this and then you can poke out all your little extra pieces. And then um, you could use this on a card just like this. You could cut that piece off and have that little piece there, kind of like a film strip, I think somebody said, or you can cut it down. So I recommend having because these dies don't have a cutting blade on the side or on the top, um, I recommend cutting it with a big, big piece this way. And then you have kind of like a handle to hold on to. So you can put it into your paper trimmer and, oh, my blade just got stuck. Okay, there. And now I just have the beautiful scallops. And then I can take this piece, and if I want to cut that off, now I have this piece to add to another project. So I'm going to save this. Good morning. It's Sunday, uh, just around dinner time here. I think uh, if you've been hanging out with me this weekend, you know my family went to a dance convention. Randall took the little girls to a dance convention in Myrtle Beach. They're on the way home. I just had a pop-up. <clears throat> Eva said they'll be home at 8.15. And then I've been hanging out with Anna all weekend. She had her prom. Um, I did post a picture of her on Instagram and on Facebook. Her dress was like a princess dress. It had this giant, um, royal. it was royal blue, kind of like something borrowed, some of you guys mentioned. And then it just had this giant skirt. It was so princess-like. I loved it. Okay, so I have previously cut these out. And I could stack them like that, or I can stack them on top of each other. Thank you, Debbie. Oh, Lynn, I bet you're so excited to get stamping. Thank you, Tiffany. She loved that dress. It's funny because the last dance convention I was at, I um, it was competition night and my little girls were getting dressed and Randall was home with Anna and they were shopping for her prom dress. I was so um, impressed with Randall <laughs> taking Anna to shop for her dress and they kept sending me photos of dresses and I was showing some of the other moms the dresses that they were sending me pictures of and all of us, the royal blue one was our least favorite one and it, that was the one that she loved the best. So she got it and then when she got it and it she tried it on. I was like, oh my gosh, that did not look anything like this in the picture. I'm so glad you chose it. It, it was beautiful on her. And you could tell like, you know, when you get dressed up and you know, you just feel good. I could tell that she felt that way yesterday. So it was really, really cool. It was super fun. All right. I'm going to stack this right here. The way I'm stacking it is so that, let me use my scissors to show you. So right here, is right almost even with the top there, so there's no white space. All right, then we'll do this. And then my little girls will be home and their competition season is over. And then uh, they just have the end of the year performance before summer. So it's gonna be a busy um, spring, but we have all the competition stuff over with. 
they're probably gonna be sad. <laughs> They've really enjoyed it. It's the first year that we've done that, so it was a good, good experience for them. Okay. She looked like a Southern Belle. I felt like she did too. All right, so now I'm just gonna trim off the end, and thank you to Jenny for inspiring me to stack the border dies like this. Um, they had the prom, uh, do you mean the prom or the convention, uh, the dance conference? The um, prom was at the Shrine Club. Hooray. And then, uh, let's see, I have some words already. Hooray for you. <clears throat> and if you saw on Instagram, I did finally end up going to the doctor today because of this cough. And I do not have pneumonia. I do not have bronchitis. And I do not have lung cancer. So. <laughs> Hooray for me. <laughs> they don't know why I'm coughing. So they did, and I've also been really tired too. So they're doing some blood work to see um, if anything is up. But I don't know, it might just be allergies or a cold that just hasn't gone away, which is really annoying. Oh, Debbie, you meant the dance competition. So they stayed at, um, oh gosh, where did they stay? They stayed at some big hotel. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. I'm going to have to look and message you. Oh, I'm going to do one over here. How about that? And every time I stamp this, I get a little spot right there. I wonder if there's a spot on one of my stamps that's not stamping well. I'm going to have to check that out. Oh, thank you, Linda. The little girls had, and I need a black pen because look at my four. The little girls had a piece. Um, there's a dance a dancer that's named Savannah Cobb, and she choreographed a dance for them called Oceans. And then the whole group of them had a picture taken in front of the oceans, in front of the ocean, and it was really cute. <laughs> and they um, they scored really high on a lot of their dances this this competition. So it was really awesome to hear that. I was sad I wasn't there, but I had fun staying home stamping, hanging out with my friend Vicky last night, and also hanging out with Anna. All right, so now I'm gonna do a couple of these little guys. And a couple of yellow ones to tie in that yellow. Little girls, I know. I call them little girls, but they are 13 and 15 now. <laughs> and then when Elena and Anna are together, I call them the big girls. <laughs> They're not so little, that is right. Oh, this is fun. All right, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of adhesive on the back. And if you have any sticky paper, I think Sizzix makes some, um, Ken Oliver makes the Stick It, you can put this on your black cardstock or whatever cardstock you're cutting out first and then run it through the die cut machine. And then basically you made a sticker so you don't have to use this liquid glue, which is really nice. I just, I never seem to remember to do that when I'm die cutting. Thank you, Sharon. I think it's really happy too. Hooray for you. All right, and the way I'm gonna finish this off, I think I'm just going to do some dimensional adhesive and call it a day. I think kind of a white, um, whitish card. So if you're new here, uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you have any questions. If you're interested in this collection of products, it, the, it is for sale now in, in our store. It probably won't be for sale in a couple weeks, but watch for it later in the year. Um, if you're, you know, watching this later and it's not available anymore, it will be available later in the year. Like, you know, usually we put them individually in the store about six months later. Thank you, Debbie. But it's all in the store now and you get that free PDF download and you get, um, you get a little discount on the box. It's kind of like getting a stamp set and a stencil for free, the pricing on it. So, and like I said, all of the products were made to coordinate together so that you're not, you know, bumbling around your stamp room trying to figure out what's gonna make a cohesive project. Everything is all together for you in the box. So it takes the guesswork out of it. There are my cards for today. 
I've been a stamp and fool this, this weekend. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to go ahead and take photos of this and put it up on my blog and my, on my blog post. If you are a newsletter subscriber, I will be sending out a newsletter soon with more card samples for you. Um, kind of a collection of the design team stuff to inspire you. So if you're not on that yet, go to katherinepuller.com. And thanks for being here. Ah, hope you guys had an awesome weekend or gearing up for a great week. Thanks for being here. I just said that. All right. <laughs> Have a great night, you guys. Bye.